first day and we've woken up all rearing to go, a little bit jet lagged. Um, Jesse woke, <laughs> woke up rearing to go at 4 a.m. Yeah, well, it was 3 30, and then I had this vision in my mind that what am I going to do? So I ended up going to the gym and I did about two hours workout. And then I was like, oh, Renee's still asleep. Let her sleep for a little bit longer. So now we are finally up. Renee is finally up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to go have a buffet breakfast. Get ready to be picked up at 10.20. Off for a swamp tour. Off to see some gators. What do you got? I've got a bagel. Some scrambled eggs with salsa and cheese and a turkey sausage. Ooh, yeah. I'm pretty happy. Nice. I went and made a sandwich. And some salsa with chili. Looks like something dying on your plate. Folks, if everybody wants to stand up, y'all are more than welcome to. Remember, engine's off when I dress it, so you can stand up.
an alligator well once she gets bred in deeper water she's gonna come into an area like this make a small trail into the marsh and build her nest with all the natural vegetation from around the nest is going to be four to five foot wide two to three foot tall with a small hole in the middle and then the mother alligator is going to lay anywhere between 20 and 50 eggs at a time the incubation period around about 68 days then once the babies are hatched they are 100 percent self-reliant as far as feeding goes the mother alligator is not going to provide any type of food for her young. Now she will offer a little bit of protection for the first couple of months, but once the mother alligator starts getting ready for hibernation, she's going to try to run her babies off. Folks, this is my pet alligator. His name is Ryder. I am going to pass him around. Everybody's going to have the opportunity to hold him. Folks, the way you're going to hold this alligator is just like this. Take your hand, make a small gentle circle around its neck, support the body, support the tail. Make sure the alligator thinks that it is floating. Well, Ryder. So how old is Ryder? How long is Ryder? How, oh. Um, about a foot and a half, maybe? Yeah. You know, about a year and a half old. Quite yeah. strong. Yeah, he is. Oh, I'm not sure about this. So they don't get stressed out by this? I like being... Eh, he hasn't said anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to wrinkle. It's a uh, girl or boy? It's too young to determine the sex. Jazzing out, a little bit of jazz. 
Yeah, we were just at the Satchmo Jazz Music Festival at the Jazz Museum, which is still going on, goes on till sunset. But we have hit rock bottom. Yeah, I think the jet lag is making me sleepy. You might be able to tell I've got sleepy eyes going on. <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna just move on back. But we've had our fulfillment of jazz, that's for sure. I hope so. Yeah. Now we got some Saints go marching in, and earlier we had some Rock and Robin, and yeah, everything. Yeah, Trumpet Mafia. It's pretty cool. The Trumpet Mafia is my fave, but they're, they're still playing right now, and they're a massive trumpet, well, brass band. Really cool. We're stopping at Cafe Du Monde for some iced coffee and which I need <laughs> to wake up and beignets. Yeah, French beignets. Iced coffee, is it? Supposedly. Can you get iced coffee? Yeah. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 